Hi, I'm Gary Glass, Director of the American Home Brewers Association. Today I'm going to explain how malt is used in the all grain brewing process. Brewing with malted grains involves three steps, mashing, loudering, and sparging. In the mashing process, crushed grain is soaked in water at various temperatures, activating enzymes in malt primarily to convert starches into fermentable sugars. Extract brewers skip this step because extracts have already gone through the mashing process to produce fermentable sugars needed to make beer. This chart from John Palmer's How to Brew shows various malt enzymes and their associated mash temperatures. For most brews, we are only concerned with the last two, beta and alpha amylase, which break down starches to sugars. Most mashes will use between one and two quarts of water per pound of grain and will be kept somewhere between 140 and 158 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour. The higher temperatures in that range produce more unfermentable dextrins that add body to the beer. Loudering is the process of removing the liquid wort from the grain solids. Most homebrewers use a single vessel called a mash louder ton to do this. Sparging is the term used for rinsing the grain with additional water to remove as much of the sugar as possible. The traditional method of sparging is called fly sparging, where water is added to the top of the mash tun as the mash tun is drained. Some homebrewers use an alternative form of sparging called batch sparging. For those new to all grain brewing, batch sparging is one of the simplest methods you can use. In batch sparging, all the sparge water is added at once, stirred, recirculated, and then drained into the kettle. Some brewers find batch sparging to be slightly less efficient at extracting sugars, but batch sparging requires less equipment and is faster and easier to perform than fly sparging. So those are the basics of how malt is used in the all-grain brewing process.